Hello, Scam Squad, and welcome to a mini lesson. The target for today's mini lesson is I can identify the constant of proportionality, or COP, in a table and on a graph. So first, we're going to identify the COP in a table. And the steps to determine the COP in a table is one, create ratios y over x. So I'll write that down now. We got the y value divided by the x value. And then step two is to divide to find the COP. So notice in the table, the bottom row is going to be the y values and the top row is going to be the x values. So in order to create ratios or fractions, in the first column, the y is 18 and the x is 3, so we'd make the fraction 18 over 3. For the second column, the y value is 36, and the x value is 6. So our fraction or ratio would be 36 over 6. In the third column, my y value is 54, and my x value is 9. So we'd have the ratio 54 over 9. And in the final column, my y value is 72, and my x value is 12. So we're officially done with step one, and now we want to move on to step two. Divide to find the COP. Because remember, this line in the middle lets us know to divide. So I want you to notice how for all of these ratios, they were all equal to 6. So we can determine that the COP based off of this table is going to be equal to 6. So now I have a problem for you to try. I want you to follow those same steps. So create ratios where you have the Y divided by the X and then divide to find your COP. I recommend you pause the video now, solve the problem, and resume when you're ready to see if your answer is correct. So remember, we have to do the Y divided by the X. So the next step is to divide, and I'll save us some time. When I divide these, all of them are going to be equal to 50. So our COP for this table would be 50. Our next learning target is I can identify the COP in a graph. And if we take a look at the steps, they're gonna look very familiar, right? They're exactly the same as the steps for finding the COP in a table. First, we're going to create ratios, y over x, and then we're going to divide to find the COP. So let's take a look at this one. Let's make some ratios. So I have y divided by the x. And if we look at these points on the graph, remember the vertical axis is the y-axis and the horizontal axis is the x-axis. So this point here is going to have a y value of 10 and an x value of 2. This point here has a y value of halfway between 20 and 30 will be 25 and it has an x value of 5. And the last point on the graph, we have a y value of 40 and an x value of 8. When I divide these, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. And 40 divided by 8 equals 5. So since those are all the same number, we know that our COP for this graph is going to be equal to 5. So now I have a problem for you to try. I would recommend you pause, solve for the COP, 
and then resume when you're ready to see if your answer is correct. Okay, so just like the last one, we want to create ratios. And I bet you're wondering, do you have to create a ratio for every point? It's not a bad idea. It's always good to double check. But as long as the line is straight and it goes through the point zero, zero, then we know it's proportional. So technically, we only have to choose one of those points. So I'll choose this one down here. And that point has a y of 94 and an x of 2. And 94 divided by 2 is equal to 47. So the correct answer would be D, 47. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe.